Hey guys, uh, welcome to our weekly ticket entertainment webcast. I'm Dave Paulson. Joining me this week is uh, Mary Hans. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm just fine. Miss Cheap is here. All right. Yeah. So we can we can get started. Um, big thing happening this weekend. First of all, is the Super Bowl. Now, Mary, what is the Super Bowl? Well, the zoo does this. The Nashville Zoo does this once a year, where they have half price Sunday on Super Bowl Sunday, and so it's seven fifty for adults and five dollars for kids. And you know, every year nobody knows what it's going to turn out to be because of the weather. And it looks great this week. It's, I think the high is supposed to be 54, so it means most of the animals will be out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the winter, a lot of the animals, they have to put up. The keepers watch it um, hourly kind of to see if it goes below 50. There's certain animals like the primates and the lorikeets that they take off. Right. Um, and as it gets down to 40, even more. But Bingo's at the National Zoo things. having a big time. <laughs> Right, they, they probably would. But <laughs> they don't have. They don't know the difference, I guess. But um, yeah. So they're not a. They're not a 50 degrees and up. No, they. Animal. They're out. Uh, I don't know exactly what the cutoff is for <laughs> them, but they do seem to enjoy the water and the cold for yeah. sure. So as long as it's over 50, we can expect most animals to be out. Right, and uh, you know the giraffes, the elephants, almost all of those will be out. Um, the zoo's open from nine to four, and so people could go and still be home and watch the Super Bowl. But it's it's really a good day to go to the zoo. Half price is good. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, and then the other thing we have running in today's uh, family section is it's uh, consignment season, uh, which Mary is going to teach me all about <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, you know these consignment sales. They have uh, they're sort of pop up sales for children's clothes and equipment and toys. And there, there are just dozens of these sales all over Middle Tennessee. And they start about now. Well, the first one is this kid's closet out in Spring Hill this weekend. Um, and then they run through February and March. And it's, so, it's hard to keep up with them. So this, this lady, Julie King, that I wrote about, she's put together this um, website, consigningtime.com, where she lists 50 to 55 sales each season. Uh, and then you can link to those and you know find out all the details about each sale. But it is the best way to buy children's things. I mean, most things are 50% or less than what they would have been new. Um, they're pretty picky about what they take, so it's not things that are dirty or don't work or that kind of thing. But you can really save some money on children's things. And most of them carry infant on up to, you know, like preteen kind of sizes of clothes. Awesome. So people can read about that in today's family section and also get some information online. Where should they head? Well, they can go to consignment time, consigningtime.com or they can go to my blog page, which is tennessean.com slash mischief. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, speaking of online, there was a really cool video uh, that we found this morning. It's been going around Twitter and Facebook and other places. It was a ridiculously busy night last night in Nashville. There was the Cowboy Jack Clement tribute at uh, War Memorial. I went to see Louis C.K., the comedian at TPAC. And then uh, Billy Joel was doing a, a Q&A slash concert kind of for uh, just for Vanderbilt students and faculty. It was sold out. Um, and actually, as I was leaving TPAC, I managed to walk by the Hermitage Hotel just as Billy Joel was getting out of his, uh, <laughs> his van. And it was cool to see him, but I felt kind of bad. He was sort of mobbed by autograph hounds holding, like, <laughs> giant vinyl <laughs> copies of The Stranger. And I'm not really sure they were big fans or they just – wanted to get something on eBay. I'm not sure, but Billy stood there. And I was very fortunate. You should do it now. And just sort of stand in there and people are flashing. So we, we, we just kept moving. We didn't want to be part of the mob, but it was kind of cool. Anyway, uh, during this, um, this Q&A uh, session, a uh, Vanderbilt freshman named Michael Pollack uh, got up and asked uh, Billy. He, he said, uh, I, I play piano, and um, do you mind if I back you up on uh, uh, New York State of Mind, and Billy actually said yes, and so we found the video on Facebook this morning. It's really cool. We're going to check out a little bit right now. <laughs> I've been very fortunate. Uh, I was able to play with Richie Kanata uh, many times in New York City, and I was wondering... I've been very fortunate. Uh, I was able to play with Richie Kanata uh, many times in New York City, and I was wondering if I could play with you. Wait, uh, C. Do it in C. Hey, hang on one second. Hang on. Oh my God! Oh yeah! It's so sweet. Woo! <laughs> yeah. So if you want to see the whole thing, it's up at uh, Tennessean.com/music. Um, but even with that awesome Wednesday we just had, there's there's still a lot of cool stuff happening this weekend. Uh, Friday and Saturday, comedian Joe Coy is at Zanies. Zanies in Nashville is actually celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. So um, they have lots of, of of big shows coming up that they're announcing. So you can check that out on their website. Um, 
Today, uh, well, actually, uh, sorry, not today, Friday through next Thursday, uh, the documentary Sound City is playing at the Bell Court. It's, uh, it's the directorial debut from Dave Grohl, who was in Nirvana and, and is, uh, leads the Foo Fighters, and uh, it's about a now closed studio in Los Angeles that he, uh, he bought the old soundboard from and, and, and recruited all the famous rocker guys and, and, uh, uh, to, to record a new album using that board. It's supposed to be really cool, and on Saturday they have a, a Nashville guy, Nick Raskulenix, who uh, will lead a discussion after the, the Saturday night uh, screening. Saturday, the Blue Sky Riders, a new super group in Nashville, uh, featuring Kenny Loggins, Footloose, Danger Zone, Danny Song, etc., with uh, two um, award-winning local Nashville songwriters, Gary Burr and Georgia Middleman. They have a like a new super group trio called the Blue Sky Riders. They just they were on the Tonight Show last last week, and they'll play at Third and Lindsley on Saturday. Past that, I want to mention that I have um, a story in uh, this Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and plug one of my features. Why not? Uh, on uh, uh, the 80th anniversary of the comic strip character Nancy, the guy who now draws the Nancy comic strip is named Guy Gilchrist, and he lives in Gallatin. So I got to go out and check out his studio and see him working on all the new s- strips. He's a really nice guy. He drew us like uh, he personally drew us a, a drawing of um, Nancy reading the Tennessee, and you can see that in <laughs> Sunday's. I love it. Yeah, and in colored it. It looks great. So you can see that in Sunday's portfolio section. That's all we got this week, guys. Everyone have a good weekend. I've got one more thing. Oh, great. Go for it. Well, you know, if you miss the Zuper Bowl Sunday, you can also get a deal at the zoo if you take a Coke product can, like a can, an empty can. Um, all through February, you can get a buy one, get one free. So oh, awesome. It's a pretty good I, deal. That would work for me, as Mary knows, because she sits right next to me. I have quite <laughs> a few Coke products laying around that's my why desk. I told you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the tip, Mary. All right, guys, that's all we got. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Thursday.